I'm going to show you how to keep your printer ink from drying up. If you don't print at least once a week, the ink in the printer will get dry, specifically around the print head, where it comes out of the cartridge. If this happens, the printer has to go through a print head cleaning cycle, which uses a lot of ink. In extreme cases, the print head may become too clogged to be cleaned, and you'll need to buy new ink, which is very expensive. In this video, I'm going to show you how to have your computer send a test page to the printer once a week. This will prevent the ink from drying up and will save you money. The first step is to open Notepad. On Windows Vista or 7, click the Start button and just start typing Notepad. It will find it and I'll click it to open it. If you're running Windows 8 or 8.1, click the Start button. On Windows 8, you just need to put the mouse cursor at the bottom left of the screen and the Start screen will appear. Just like in Windows Vista and 7, start typing Notepad. It will find it and click to open it. If you're running Windows 10, click the Start button, start typing Notepad, and there it is. Now with Notepad, we are going to create a .bat or batch file. This will allow Windows to run a command. I have the line of text for the command in another document. You can find this line of text in the description of this video on YouTube. Just click Show More below the video. I need to copy this text, so I'm going to left click at the end of it, holding the mouse button down, drag across it, and let the left mouse button go. The text is highlighted, so I'll right click on it, and I get the option to copy it. I'll go back to the other notepad, right click on a blank spot, and then click paste. If you're going to manually type in the text instead of copying it, note that the upper and lower case matters and must be exact. Notice where it says your printer name here. What you need to do is find the exact name of your printer. To do that, click the Start button and click Devices and Printers. To get here in Windows 8 or 8.1, either hover over the bottom left of the screen in Windows 8 or click the Start button in Windows 8.1. Just start typing Printers and it will show up. Click to open it. In Windows 10, click the Start button, start typing Printers, and click to open it. In the Printer section, you can find your printer. It will have a green check mark on its icon, which means that it is the default printer. So when you go to print something, it will be the one that is selected by default to print to. To find the exact name of the printer, right click on it and go to Printer Properties. This will come up with the name of the printer already highlighted. You can right click on it and click Copy. Now close down the Printer Properties and close down Devices and Printers. Back on the notepad, you'll need to highlight where it says your printer name here. So left click, hold, drag across it, and release the left mouse button. Right click on the highlighted text and choose paste. This replaces that text with the name of your printer. Make sure you leave the quotation marks on either side. Next, we need to save this as a .bat file. Click File and Save As. You can save this file anywhere you like. Just choose a place where you're not likely to accidentally delete it. I'm going to save it in my Documents folder. I'll delete the name that it already has and call it Auto Print. And this is very important. Dot .bat. This will save it as a .bat or batch file. I'll click Save and close the file. To make sure it works, I'll go to my Documents folder and find it and double click to run it. It'll open up a little black box which goes away very quickly and I can hear the printer printing the test page. 
your printer should print a test page with mostly text and a little color, which looks something like this. If you instead get an error message like this one, it means that you didn't copy the command text correctly. Or, if you get this error, your printer name was copied incorrectly. If you need to make a change to the batch file, right-click on it and choose Edit. Make your changes, then click File and Save, then close it down. To make this process a little easier, I've uploaded a basic autoprint.bat file onto my website. To download it, go to www.homepcbuilder.com forward slash autoprint.bat. In most browsers, it'll be saved to the downloads folder, but you can move it wherever you like. Depending on the browser you're using, you may get a message like this one. There's usually a way to tell it you're sure you want to keep it. I'll go to the folder where it got downloaded. To edit the file, right-click on it and choose Edit. Just remember to replace your printer name here with the name of your printer. Once you have the batch file working, the next step is to make the computer run the file at least once a week. To do that, we're going to use Task Scheduler. I'll click Start and start typing Task Scheduler and click to run it. To get here in Windows 8 or 8.1, either hover over the bottom left of the screen if you're running Windows 8 or click the Start button if you're running Windows 8.1. Start typing Task Scheduler. Task Scheduler will be found and you click to open it. If you're running Windows 10, click the Start button and start typing Task Scheduler. I'll click it. I'll click Action and Create Basic Task. I'll name it Auto Print and click Next. I want this to run weekly and next. I'd like it to run in a few minutes, so I'm going to change it to 12.37 to start. Today is Friday, and I'm going to leave it set to happen once every week. I'll click Next. I want it to start a program. Next. It's asking me where the program is, and this is the batch file. I'll click Browse to find it. It's in my Documents folder, and I'll double-click it. I'll click Next, and Finish. If I go to Task Scheduler Library, I'll see a list of all the scheduled tasks, including the one I just set up. If you want to change its properties, you can right-click on it and go to Properties. The schedule is under Triggers, where you can change when and how often it runs. I'll click OK, and we'll wait for it to start. It's 12.37. It often takes several seconds, even after the time has arrived. There's the black box. And I can hear it printing the test page. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Now, if you're wondering, how does printing a test page once a week save ink? Well, remember that unless you print at least that often, the printer will use a lot more ink, clearing the dried ink from the print head. And if the print head has gotten too badly clogged with ink, you will need to buy a new ink cartridge. Even if the ink in the cartridge you currently have isn't empty, it will just go to waste. Thanks for watching.